Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you another deodorant type recipe. This time, instead of a stick deodorant, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make a deodorant lotion. This formula is an emulsified cream that you apply under your arms and it helps you stay fresh and clean all day long. We're gonna be using some really beautiful plant-based ingredients that I actually created myself using infusions of rosemary. I'm so excited to be sharing this with you today. I think it's been a really effective, great formula to use. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the step-by-step -step visual process and tutorial of how to put together this emulsified deodorant cream. And if you would like the full written recipe plus a full written detailed step-by-step -step tutorial, you can head on over to my Patreon campaign and unlock this formula at just the $5 level. Next month marks the four year anniversary of the start of my Patreon campaign and there's so much to take advantage of over there. Just at the $5 level, there are hundreds of recipes and tutorials I post weekly, sometimes twice weekly, and I never take anything down. There are also four other tiers for you to take a look at and take advantage of. We offer things like live quarterly classes, monthly hangouts, monthly gift packages, coupon codes to my favorite suppliers. I really hope you'll check it out because we do offer a 10% off coupon code to makesee.com and a five and $10 off coupon code, depending on which tier you're in to onlinelabels.com, making your sign up super worth it. So I'll go ahead and put the link to my campaign in the description box below, and I hope you check it out. Let's get started. All right, so it's important to note that since we are making an emulsified product, meaning we are gonna be combining some oils and waters together, it's really important that your workstation and all your materials and your tools stay very clean. Make sure you sanitize all your equipment and your workstation before you get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and weigh off some ingredients that belong to our oil phase. Now we have three phases in this formula. We have a heated oil phase, a heated water phase, and then a cool down phase. So the ingredients I'm weighing off right now are the ingredients that go into the heated oil phase of this formula. So I'm gonna be weighing off some arrowroot powder. Arrowroot powder is really good for its ability to absorb wetness and also helps to absorb odor. So we're gonna be putting in some arrowroot powder in, directly into the oil phase. I find that when it's heated up with the oils, it's easier to combine it. It doesn't clump up. That was perfect. I don't need to add any more. So next up in my heated oil phase is some rosemary infused rice bran oil. Now you guys saw me use this infusion in the stick deodorant that we made a few weeks back and I'm gonna be using it again in this emulsified formula. So basically this is just a rosemary infused oil and I'll be giving you full instructions in the tutorial over on the campaign of how to create this beautiful rosemary infused oil. So it's got a real natural rosemary smell to it. Rosemary is known to help detox your skin and it just helps everything stay really fresh and clean. It's got a really nice herbaceous smell to it. So we're going to be adding in rosemary essential oil. Okay. Next up, we're gonna be adding in some cocum butter. Cocum butter is a lot like a cocoa butter or a shea butter. It's brittle and hard like cocoa butter, um, but it's a pretty high-end butter and it's very good for your skin. It's full of antioxidants. Um, you could just replace this with cocoa butter if you didn't wanna use Cocum butter, that would also work fine. There we go. Next up, we're gonna be adding in some emulsifying wax. Now, the emulsifying wax, this is a necessary ingredient in creating any type of oil and water emulsion. 
This is what's going to create the lotion part. It's going to help our water and our oils to stay combined. Without it, they will separate. So this is a necessary ingredient. And we're just using a generic emulsifying wax. There we go. And then next up, we're going to be adding in some cetyl alcohol. Cetyl alcohol is going to help to thicken up this cream, but it also has a really, really nice skin feel. It's going to make this cream feel very silky and just beautiful. It absorbs easily into the skin. So we're going to be using a little bit of cetyl alcohol. You could replace this with stearic acid if you didn't have cetyl alcohol. Um, it is going to, stearic acid will add some nice conditioning properties to this formula. However, it's not going to feel exactly the same as the cetyl alcohol. Next, we're going to be adding in a star of the show ingredient. This is what I like to call the star of the show. Um, this is called zinc ricinoleate. I think I'm saying that right. I've heard it pronounced a few ways, but basically your zinc is going to trap the ricinoleate. The zinc ricinoleate is going to trap and chemically absorb odor molecules formed during bacterial decomposition of perspiration or sweating. So basically all it's going to do is trap and absorb the odor molecules formed when you sweat and so it, you don't perceive the odor. It does not act as an antiperspirant, meaning you're still going to sweat. It has fungicidal or bacterial properties, so it's not going to interfere with the skin's natural flora. This is a great natural type ingredient to use in your homemade deodorants because it's not going to disrupt your skin. It's good for sensitive skin as well. So we're just going to go ahead and add in the zinc ricinoleate. I got this one at makeyourown.buzz. All right, so that's going to be it for the heated oil phase. We're making about a 100 gram batch today, so I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. And then we're going to go ahead and weigh off the heated water phase for this formula. The first thing that's going to go into the heated water phase is some fresh rosemary glycerate. This is another really awesome plant-based ingredient that I made. Um, you guys saw me use this in my more recent hair serum video, but this is an infused glycerin. And we inf I infused this with fresh rosemary um, stems and leaves. So it smells amazing. That's why we have that beautiful color there because it infused perfectly. And again, rosemary is used for its detoxifying properties. So it's good for deodorants and your scalp. And it smells super fresh and clean. So this is, if you don't wanna make the glycerite, you can certainly just use regular glycerin in its place. I'll be giving full instructions in the written tutorial of how to make the rosemary glycerite. I just think between the rosemary glycerite and the rice bran uh, rosemary infused oil, this makes a very special product. Can't really find this type of thing in the store. Then we're going to be adding in some distilled water to the water phase. And that's it for the water phase and the oil phase. So that's it for the oil and water phases of this formula. And for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just set these aside. We're gonna be heating these up in just a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and prep my cool down ingredients just so that they're ready to go after everything's heated up. 
So the first thing is we're going to be adding this deodorant additive product. This comes from brambleberry.com. This is another star of the show type ingredient. This is going to be what helps you to not have body odor and it works really good in this formula that I've created. So this is made up of something called Saccharomyces ferment. It's a yeast enzyme that uses ammonia to make amino acids. And this is what's gonna help you to keep the fungi from growing under the arm. There's preservatives, potassium sorbate and sodium benzoate that inhibit the bacterial growth, but doesn't alter the enzyme function. So your underarms are gonna stay nice and balanced with the bacteria using this product in your cream. And because it's water soluble, um, this is great for an emulsion type product like what we're making today. So we're gonna be adding in our deodorant additive. Okay. Next in the cool down phase is some preservative. We're gonna be using Optifin preservative today. Optifin is great for kind of oil-based recipes or lotions and creams. And it is necessary. And now we're gonna be adding in some essential oils. Now this is gonna help the deodorant to smell really nice, but it also has some function to it as well. So we're gonna be using a combination of rosemary and eucalyptus essential oils. Again, the rosemary is great smelling and it's gonna to help to prevent bacteria from growing and it's very good at detoxifying. And then the eucalyptus is very fresh smelling, goes really good with the rosemary. A combination here. So we're going to go ahead and and next up the eucalyptus. Okay, now we're just gonna keep our cool down ingredients. Maybe just give this a little bit of a stir. And then we're gonna set these cool down ingredients off to the side while we go ahead and heat up our water and oil phases and I'll bring you right back when this is all melted down and warmed through. All right, now that my water and oil phases are completely melted down and heated through, this one has the arrowroot powder in it, so it is not going to become uh, transparent. It's gonna stay a bit opaque. And now it's time to go ahead and combine our oil and water phases together. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my water phase into my oil phase. And I can see it already starting to emulsify and turn white like lotion. So we're just gonna go ahead and blend. We're just using an immersion blender. We're gonna go ahead and blend this for about two minutes. I'll bring you back when we're done blending. Okay, we've been blending for about two minutes. We have a good emulsification here, but of course it's still very, very thin because it's very warm still. So we are sitting right around 125, 26 degrees. So we're actually okay to go ahead and add in all of those cool down ingredients and give this another good blending. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour those in. And then we're gonna give it a good blend again with the stick blender just to make sure everything gets combined and emulsified. All right, I'll bring you back when everything has thickened up. 
All right, so our cream has thickened up nicely. It's still a little bit on the runny side because it's still slightly warm. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer this formula into a four ounce PET container. And then I have one previously made that I'll show you. So you can get an idea of how it sets up. So that's what the finished product looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and allow it to cool all the way and just share with you a previously made batch. This one I made a few weeks ago and I wanted to show you that the color does change a little bit from a bright white to kind of a light purple lavenderish hue. And as you can see, it's thickened up quite nicely. It's not gonna fall out of the container, which is good because you want a cream like this to be substantial so it kind of sticks into your underarms a little bit. Now, this one has quite a bit of arrowroot powder in it. My formula contains quite a bit of arrowroot powder, and that's because I like the way that it absorbs the wetness and the odor. You can certainly back it down if you don't prefer that. But just to give you an idea of how it works, so you're just gonna grab a little bit onto your finger, like this is all you need for your underarms. And then you're just gonna go ahead and rub it in until you don't see any more like white casting or streaking. Just get it all the way rubbed in. And that's all you have to do. And let me tell you, this has been working great. It's starting to warm up here in my area and I haven't had any issues with it at all. It doesn't stain your clothes or anything like that. And that purple color that it turns is just a natural, um, reaction to the zinc with the other ingredients in this totally normal so don't worry about that when you see it change but that's it everybody that's how you make a beautiful and natural deodorant I hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please leave comments or questions below share this video with a friend all that really helps me out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel all right everybody catch you on the next video bye keep shining